work your upper back and improve your freestyle swim with this great upper body weight routine. I'm Samantha Clayton, Director of Fitness at Herbalife and I'm here to help you enjoy an active, healthy life. Swimming is a great form of exercise for total body conditioning and if you enjoy doing triathlons, you may benefit from doing some out of the water training. Let me show you a few moves that you can add to your workout that are aimed at specifically strengthening your upper body swimming muscles. If you're not into swimming, this is still a great routine because a toned upper back looks great in a tux or a dress, so you too can benefit from my swimming workout. Warm up, then join me for this five minute routine. Start out with a simple one arm row. First, just start out letting the weight hang down. Eyes are looking straight down in front of you and you're simply going to pull the weight up to hip height and you're retracting your shoulder blades, so pulling your shoulder blades back. This is the first part of our move. Once you're comfortable with that, the second part of our move is to come out laterally while keeping your body nice and still. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go one, two, one, and two. So focusing on your form, and focus on controlling the weight on the way up, controlling on the way down, and trying to keep your body as still as you can, and just working those upper back and arm muscles. Keep it going. And then you're just gonna switch to the other side, so step over to the other side of your bench. Find that nice body position, shoulder and wrist are in line, body supported, and this time, just do three of one, three out to the side to get the feeling, feel the muscles that you're working, and then let's alternate, one and two. So the whole time I'm having to contract my core and hold myself steady on the bench to make sure I'm not relying on momentum. I want my muscles to be doing the work. Our next move, we're gonna be using a resistance band. So pop your weight down. You're gonna pick up a resistance band. Now you're gonna to wanna to set it around something sturdy. I'm lucky I have my weight bench here. So I'm just gonna wrap it around so that when I sit down on the floor to do my chest press. First, so sit down, get your band set. One handle in each hand. Feet are planted on the floor arms are at chest height and I'm simply just going to push forward and come back. So push the weight forward and back. So with the resistance band it's giving you that constant resistance. You can feel the band pulling you back. You want to keep a nice straight back, keep feet flat on the floor and just pull together. So at the end of the move I want you to really feel like you're squeezing the chest muscles together. Working the chest muscles, really involved in swimming the upper pec muscles. And pull forward. So again, if you're sat at the park, you can use a pole or a tree. Just make sure that whatever it is you choose to use to wrap your resistance band around, that it's sturdy and doesn't move. You don't want to be pulling furniture all over the house. Something that's definitely steady and heavy enough for you to use is great. Okay, so our next move is a simple row. So you're gonna turn around, keep your band in the same position. Sit up nice and tall. Feet are flat on the floor. You need to sit back far enough that you can feel that there's resistance in the band. So just kind of play with your position. This is good for me. Nice straight back. Release the band and pull the band back. So I'm focusing on pulling my shoulder blades together. I want to really feel those shoulder blades meeting at the back and then relax. I don't want you moving with the band, I want you to sit up nice and tall. It's going to require engaging your abdominal muscles for this move. Keep the elbows tight into the body because I really want to isolate those muscles in the back. Now you can work for reps or you can work for time. It's your choice. 
I think about 30 seconds is plenty, which tends to work out to about 12 to 15 reps. Our last move. This is an advanced move, so be ready. It's push-ups using a medicine ball. So if you're not ready to, for, to add in the balance, you can just do a regular push-up. But if you're ready for a balance challenge to really work the chest muscles, come up into push-up position. Feet are slightly wider than hips width apart, just while I find my balance. Shoulder and wrists are in line. One hand is up on the ball. And I'm simply gonna press down to push-up position. This move is a serious chest move and a core move. However, I have seen people be more advanced where they use two medicine balls, but me, I'm just gonna use one. I like throwing my body off balance like that to make sure that I'm really engaging the core. So do a few seconds on one side, switch sides, find your position. It's okay if you take your time to make sure you're in the correct alignment. And then there you go, push up. Really pushing through the floor, pushing through the ball. I should be looking straight down at the floor because we want to keep that neutral spinal alignment and isolate the chest. Let me try do one more here. As you feel your form start to shift, let's do a few in push-up position without the ball. Let's just do three more. Whatever your level is totally fine. So swimming is a perfect workout for working your cardiovascular system and it's low impact in nature. So it's a great way to rest your joints from more intense high impact workouts. I understand that swimming is not for everyone, but I urge you to at least do it a few times a year to keep your swim survival skills up to par. If you're watching this and can't swim, it's never too late to learn. My mom just learned to swim and she now loves heading to the local pool to improve her health. Swimming is a total body exercise, but working on your upper body individually may improve your overall power in the water. For more total body workout tips, check out my blog at discovergoodfitness.com.